I think, um, or not I think, I saw a video and a girl was saying how she never gets approached by men when she's looking good, but they, they become it in droves when she's in her Adam Sandler era. And I thought that that was rather interesting. All the comments, people were saying, yeah, oh my goodness, I agree. Like definitely same for me too. And I just thought that was interesting because actually last week you, you mentioned, and I know we hear this all the time, like men are visual creatures. And so Ugh. I'm thinking, why, why is it that they're, pro- <laughs> what? Why? no, sorry. I had to roll my eyes because the narrative is always that I don't men like, are visual creatures and, and that s- women don't care about. Well, it shouldn't be an excuse. Looks, but anyway, it shouldn't be anyway. an excuse for poor behavior, but at the heart of it, I guess they are. Ignore my facial expressions. Either Carry way. on. <laughs> and the sounds. No, kidding. Yeah. <laughs> at, like at the heart of it, I guess I was wondering why do you think that that's the case? Like, is a man likely to approach a woman when she's in her Adam Sandler era and not her hot girl era or, um, and also, sorry, not, or, and also why when you're visual, so you would probably appreciate how she looked in her hot, good, hot girl mm-hmm. era. You know what I mean? Can I have clarity on what an Adam Sandler era is? Absolutely. Have, have you have you seen our man Adam Sandler? What does he dress like? It's the way I look when I come home from work and he get looks changed. Like he's never made a movie in his life. <laughs> he looks like there's he no saved, money in the he bank. Looks like, he looks like he saves his money. It's giving shabby chic, but not shabby chic. It's giving just shabby. No, it's giving Walmart. Shen. Oh. Like he he gets up and you could tell he is so confident because he does not give a single hoot what people think how he looks going out the door. And so for a girl in her Adam Sandler era, we're talking like the sweatpants that have like a rip in them and maybe a stain, the over baggy T-shirt, the hair askew, your eyebrows are like all messed no up, makeup, like messy not bun. a lick of makeup. Like you look like you just like rolled your out of bed and, and you're cute fleeing sweats. for your life into Walmart. Okay. You look rough and tough. Like the way the way you look at like ten o'clock at night. You look homeless. When well, you no, just you really like realize that you're hungry and so you run into like Walmart or whatever really quick to like get snacks, but like you peeled yourself off the couch. You very to go. clearly did not expect to see anyone that you A knew. Single soul. Okay. Especially that you knew. <laughs> okay. Oh, never know when that Like you know. this is my no one can see me look. Yeah. Okay. I'm following. Yes. Okay. Sorry, we just went in on Adam Sandler. Sorry. <laughs> so, love the question, Adam. Love so the question fashion is fashion inspiration. <laughs> so the question is why do you think it's true? Do I think it's true that guys and if so, why? are more likely to approach women who are in their Adam Sandler vibes versus their hot girl their era. Hot girl vibes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like they look put together, they're cute. And if so, why or why not? Exactly. Do I think it's true? 50 50. Mm. Could be yes, could be no. I think there's some guys who it could be true for and some guys who it wouldn't. Personally, it wouldn't be true for me. Like you would not approach a girl. Based out here on, looking based like on how Sandler. you guys described it? No. I mean, let's keep in mind that women are gorgeous. And so at the heart of this, she still looks a little cute. Like I'm sure you have rolled out of bed looking all askew and you've been like, but, oh, she's kind of cute. Though. But. As a dude, I think mm. there is mm. a difference between like the the not put together swag of like sweatpants, messy bun, whatever, versus what you guys described as like their stains and rips <laughs> in the sweats. And like, okay, well, we were talking about Adam Sandler. <laughs> okay, no, let me. Okay, wait, I should clarify because there's a difference between it's the two. Not, it's okay, not. Okay, we're not talking entirely. to the level of sloppy. No, Let's like I'm clarify. not okay, saying what, it what looks f- like you climbed out of a dumpster. Okay, what I felt from what you described <laughs> was sloppy. And sloppy is is no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I just pictured Oscar the grout. But, I just like climb my way out of a dumpster. But if what you do mean Wait, is just a, is what is a sense of like I'm okay with not having to be on 10 every time I walk outside. Mm-hmm. I'm comfortable in my skin. I'm comfortable if you see me in sweats, no makeup, and a messy bun. Mm-hmm. Then yes, I think a lot of guys do find that attractive. But sloppy though, Mm-mm, no, yuck. No, that makes sense. And I will say, I think we got a little um, 
maybe over yeah, maybe, excited, maybe like, too much. discussing the Sand- Adam Sandler too much. era. Because I, like, I have... See, and I also think that girls, when we say we look haggard, when we say we look, mm. like, homeless, like, whatever, whatever, um, I think we think it's a lot worse than it is sometimes. Yes. I've seen homeless women on the street before. There's <laughs> a difference. Yeah. Like, I'm thinking, like, <laughs> my sweatpants don't match the sweatshirt I'm wearing. And my hair doesn't look good. My edges look like a brush has not passed them. My, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I might look a little tired. I'm not, I'm not wearing, wait, what? Just never seen one. Oh. A no. brush? What? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who is that? Mm-mm. Um, Is it in the room with us? <laughs> <laughs> like, all that stuff. But, yeah, I'm not talking, like, sloppy, like, I stink and I look like I haven't ever bathed before type of vibe. Climbed like, out of a not, dumpster. Like, crusties in my eyes. Got into and... a fight with a raccoon on the way out and then promptly got electrocuted. <laughs> Let's simplify like, the question. Sorry, I cut you off again. No, you didn't. Oh, Lord, that was mercy. it. I was done. That oh, was never in my apologized. description. Right. Yeah, never apologize. Okay. Um, do you think it's more... Okay, do you think it's easier to a- approach a girl when she's in chill mode? And just like not really caring, or do you think guys are more drawn to when she looks she looks like somebody? You know what I mean? Like she put in time and effort. Depends on where we are. Mm-hmm. Um, but if I have to just generalize and say it as an overall majority, mm-hmm. I'd say chill mode because chill mode reflects real life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so you would agree. And, and chill mode is just chill. So you would agree. So you agree. So you agree. You think you're really pretty. <laughs> agree with what? It's no, Mean nothing. Girls. That's an inside joke. Oh, I ain't never seen Mean Girls. <gasps> oh my gosh. Jail. I've seen Bad Boys. <laughs> I've never seen Bad Boys. Maybe we should have a Bad Boys, Mean Girls go. movie night. Hmm? Wait, is Bad Boys, like, am I going to be okay? It might be a little bit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Anyway. Mean, mean is mean, but bad is bad. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> um, do you think then, so, because I, I, I hear you and your response, thank you. Do you think that it comes down to anything to do with intimidation or is it just like she seems cool and like she's chill and that's a vibe I like versus like, well, maybe I can't approach her when she's looking that good because I have to come fully correct. Mm-hmm. Well, can we describe what a ten is in your guys' opinion too? Because to me, when I think of a ten, I'm thinking of like the red carpet. I'm thinking about no. like going out for a nice dinner together, and like you put on a cute dress, your hair is done nicely, your makeup is on, hair done, makeup done. Maybe you're wearing heels, maybe okay. not, but like she's slaying. I don't know. I'd say it's pretty even between both. Mm-hmm. I think guys will approach. If you look good, they'll approach you. But, yeah. but the, the laid back vibe doesn't equate to not looking good. So in terms mm-hmm. of why, if you guys are visual, Who the, said visual the visual part. Slot pants, hair tie, chilling with them. Drake? Drake. Yeah. The, the visual aspect is not visual in the sense of what you are wearing. It's the fact that you are a woman that I can see. <laughs> hmm. So whether you're so good is just good, but good doesn't look like just one thing. Yeah, there's different versions. Okay, right? Like, if a dude likes curvy girls, right? Uh And you're curvy, it doesn't matter what you're wearing while you're curvy. (laughs) (laughs) While you're curvy, yeah, (laughs) you're just out here being curvy. Yeah, (laughs) right. So like, state of rest, like existing in your curvy. It's just different versions of of visual. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We don't really discriminate based on what style of visual we're getting. Interesting. Hmm. So I, I actually think it's it might be pretty even down the middle. I think there's guys that'll approach you if you look like if they meet you at a bar and you're done up. Mm-hmm. And I think there's guys that'll approach you if you're not done up. That's interesting because I was literally listening to somebody talk this week mm-hmm. about um a toxic relationship that they used to be in. Mm-hmm. And one of the things that this guy used to do was tell her that she could not wear sweatpants because it made her look like she'd given up. Oh. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's personal. Cause I like sweatpants, especially when 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 they do that flip thing. You know when they when the waistband. Yes. And then they flip it down. Mm-hmm. That's fire. <laughs> <laughs> so. <sighs> to throw it out there though, if you're with a guy and he's telling you that you're not allowed to wear sweatpants because it makes you look like you've given up, red flag. Red flag. Well, tell Run him, for or, or, Zion's or Hills. Just give him your own red flag back. Mm, I what don't do like mean? to stoop to people's levels. Yeah, though. don't stoop to the level. Oh, okay, cool. Never no, mind. that's just a red flag. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. He better not be giving you any passwords. <laughs> yeah. And if he does, ignore the password. Red yeah. Flag. Well, I mean, I would like to hear uh, any of the guys that are still with us <laughs> at the end of this <laughs> long and lengthy episode. If you've made it this far. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's, it's just me. Yeah. <laughs> don't say that <laughs> don't say that you'll we want them to be here too they are welcome <laughs> we we would like to hear from the testosterone in the comments mm-hmm. what do you think are you more likely to approach a girl if she's like looking kind of cute like you mm-hmm. could tell she put some effort in or if she's just like she really didn't care who was about to see her which one might you be more drawn to or which one do you think is easier to do if so for mm. me personally i'd be more drawn to the tone or less done up girl mm. because i don't care to ever dress up fair enough mm-hmm. so personally because that's not my bag of dressing up i'm usually a hoodie guy mm-hmm. in sweats. you want to be in sweatpants too <laughs> you're like perfect yeah. she matches mm-hmm. yeah it's easier it's, it's more my wheelhouse yeah but i know some guys who are more about dressing up yeah so they'll probably lean to more lean more towards those who dress up yeah hmm all this to say, by the way, like, girls, please do not change the way you're dressing in, in an attempt to hook somebody. Like, if, if you think that you in sweatpants is going to do the trick, no, don't. don't you know, that's a that. whole other anything, rabbit hole that we could get If in. anything, this should say you definitely don't have to do anything because whatever you wear, someone's going to like If a guy's going to like you, he's going to yeah. like you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 